Hey guys, so for today's video, I wanted to do a Kylie Jenner ex expired, not expired. Ah, okay. A Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. It's the one that she wore to the recent Golden Globes. When I saw her makeup look, I really liked it because it was very simple and clean on the face, but um, she was wearing very bold and flirty lashes. I really liked that look. So my look came out a bit different. My look looks a bit more cool toned, at least on camera, it looks a bit more cool toned. Hers looks definitely more warm toned. I still think it came out pretty good. I really like how it came out at least. The main concept that I kind of wanted to embody in this video was the fresh and simple face makeup with really bold flirty lashes that was like the main thing that really captured me about um her makeup look and i did use all drugstore products to make it more affordable for you guys please subscribe if you're not already go ahead and give this video a thumbs my phone never goes off and it decides to go off when i'm filming and I, it really never goes off like ever what was i saying um Oh yeah, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys want me to do any videos or anything. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and let's get started. I'm gonna prime my face and today I'm using two primers. I'm using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser on my nose and right underneath my eyes, like my cheek area where my pores are a bit bigger. With pore filling primers, I really like to push it into the skin. Um, and not so much smear it around to make sure that it really does fill in my pores. And the last thing, finish primer from Rimmel London on the rest of my face. All right, next for foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the shade 220. And then I'm gonna blend that in with a beauty sponge. This isn't a beauty blender. It's kind of just like the beauty blender dupes that they have at like Walmart and stuff. Next for concealer, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 Light. Next, I'm just gonna set that all down with some powder but I'm only gonna set my under eyes and um, the places on my face where I applied concealer. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and today I'm using the e.l.f. brow pencil in the shade Natural Brown and then I'm gonna set that all down using my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. Kylie's brows are kind of longer and they have a really strong arch. So I'm gonna try and do that too with my brows. Hopefully it doesn't go bad. Just have a picture for reference here. Yeah, her brows are not too long actually. Her arch is actually closer to the middle of her brows. So I'm gonna try and do that. I'm gonna start by tracing underneath my brows. Her eyebrows are also a bit more straight than mine. So I'm gonna try and do that as well. And then I'm gonna grab my Milani brow powder. I'm gonna use the darkest shade in the palette. I'm gonna fill in the front of my brows and just kind of extend it a little bit more out. I'm also gonna clean it up a bit with some concealer later. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other brow off camera so then we can keep on moving. And then we're gonna move on to our eyes. All right, so I've already primed my eyelids and also carved my eyebrows. And then I've already set that down as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow look is super duper, super duper simple. <laughs> I'm gonna use my Morphe 35O palette. So I'm gonna start with this cool tone brown shadow and I'm gonna apply that right in my crease. I'm gonna apply it into my crease very lightly, just windshield wiper motions. Then I also wanna focus a lot of product in this spot right here, whatever this little area is. I'm doing this very lightly. This is like a very light transition shade. I'm gonna apply this chocolatey brown shadow. Just using the same brush, I'm gonna apply it on my outer V and then in my crease as well. 
So very lightly, just windshield wiper motions and kind of swirl it out on your outer V. Um, I'm gonna mix both of the shadows and bring it onto my lid with the fluffy crease brush. Just kind of dab my brush in once in each and then tap off the excess. It's a bit smokier than I wanted it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just gonna keep blending until um, my arm falls off. You want most of the product to be focused on the inner part of your eye. Then I'm gonna use a flat crease brush and I'm gonna use the darker warm brown. I'm gonna focus that on the inner part of my eye. I'm gonna blend that out using my fluffy crease brush. I'm gonna grab a bit of that chocolatey brown shadow that we used and then um, put that right on top of the dark brown eyeshadow that we just put on, just slightly on top of it. Then I'm gonna use a flat shader brush, but this time I'm using a fluffy one and not a synthetic flat shader brush because I don't want a really bold shimmery eye. I'm gonna be using this white satin shimmery shadow. So I'm just gonna apply that right on the center of my lid. We're kind of just like highlighting the eyes basically. So my eyeshadow came out a bit more cool tone, more neutral than hers, but it's the same concept. I'm gonna use that chocolatey brown color with my fluffy crease brush and then apply it very lightly to my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna blend it out a bit using my flat crease brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and apply mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I really want to load up the mascara on my bottom lashes because her bottom lashes are really long and also the falsies that we're putting on are very bold so you kind of want them to match. So then I'm going to apply these Ardell 106 lashes but they're a bit fluffier because I customized them. I used another pair of lashes. Another from Salon Perfect. But I'll put them down below. kind of just cut up the Salon Perfect lashes and added them to this one and kind of made my own custom lashes because Kylie's lashes in this are very fluffy fluffy and kind of pokey and bold. I'm gonna use the Essence Angled Eyeliner Brush, I believe it's called. I'm gonna use that chocolatey brown shade and make my wing. It's just like you're making your usual wing, but this actually might be a little easier because it's just eyeshadow. And I'm just going along my upper lash line. these are like crazy big on me we are gonna work with them this is the finished eye portion it's a bit more cool toned than Kylie's look but the brown eyeshadow actually looks pretty similar to the one that she's wearing for her wing and her lashes pretty much the same boldness but it looks not as crazy on her as it does on me because my eyes are super small so I'm gonna zoom you guys back out and we're gonna move on to the face all right so I'm gonna use the elf bronzer palette I'm gonna use the lightest matte bronze shade to bronze up my skin slightly because she doesn't really have any intense contouring kind of just like light bronzer and a lot of blush I'm gonna use my real techniques blush brush so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some blush and today I'm using the wet n wild color icon blush in the shade her less in pink. I remember from Kylie's Snapchats her saying how she preferred blush over highlighter. Like she loves blush, so she really likes to pack on the blush. I'm gonna go back into my um, Real Techniques blush brush and just blend it all together. And also I didn't put any more product on the brush. And then finally for my lips, I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. I'm gonna pat it down a little bit so it doesn't look as glossy. So this is the finished look. I kind of just threw my hair up in a ponytail because because it looks kind of nasty right now. And I tried to do the bun that she had, but my hair was just not working with me. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again, please subscribe if you're not already. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.